Hi guys, welcome to Atlantic's uh, Venus channel with me. Uh, today's unboxing is the Mystic of Magdalene Oracle, an oracle of love by Cheryl Yambrush Rose. I think she has created other decks beside this one or yeah, um, I don't really know so much about her uh, but I have already opened it and oh my god um, this deck is heart touching and it means a little bit more for me because I truly uh, love Mary Magdalene and what she stands for uh, and I feel like people are noticing more Mary Magdalene around the world uh, she's starting we're starting to shift the perspective about who she is uh, what she's here for and her messages you know uh, I, I I was surprised when I opened the deck because <laughs> sometimes when they portray uh, some artists, I don't say all, but when they, I think sometimes Christian art in some cases can be very beautiful. Like Orthodox icons is so beautiful, but like freelance artists, when they are trying to portray Jesus, Christianity and so on, there's a thin line before, before it can become cringe versus very beautiful you know and i think that if you're going to even channel divine beings into art you have to truly channel their spirits and who they are you know uh, but this deck oh my god i love the artwork okay this is published published by blue angel and it says Cheryl Yambrak Rose, the mystic of Magdalene. I just love the golden details here. Um, the mystic of Magdalene. And here. And here's the back. You can pause if you want to read. But I might read this for you. An oracle of love. Uh, and you can, you can see the images too. Uh, behind the card box um, practical mystics healers and teachers Mary Magdalene and her daughter Sarah are archetypes of our time with one foot in the terrestrial world and the other traversing the higher pathways they create a balanced woman of unlimited potential within Mary Magdalene and Sarah we find the stories of all women who meet their challenges and rise above them using intuition and creative thinking as practical mystics, healers and teachers create a balanced woman of unlimited potential. I think she has really put a lot of thought into this deck. Um, I know that there is another deck created by Megan Watterson, but I'm not drawn to this but this one I have really contemplated if I wanted to purchase this deck or not or not and oh boy I'm so happy that I purchased it I just decided let's go ahead let's just purchase this deck and oh my god I'm so happy that I did it you know that I just followed my heart this is the inside of the box it is kind of a blue green toned down uh, color here in, on the inside and here you see Mary Magdalene and here's the inside and it comes with this paper sheet and the guidebook is black and white and there is not too much information so you it is I, I would say it's a bege beginner friendly deck here's some spreads and introduction and contents okay i just love the flowers There's so much thought behind creating the box the deck the design 
so you can see Sarah and the White Spring feel and more about the cards, each one of them. Yeah, she has created this. Yeah, this is the deck I was thinking of the Transcendent Journey Oracle. And uh, yeah, and this one too, the through, through the eyes of the soul shall Yambrach Rose. I think this deck came out at the same time as this. I think it's almost the same year, within a year. Yes. Uh, oh, there she is, the author and artist. I actually like and I respect uh, Oracle or Tarot Cards uh, creator who do the both works, both the writing and the artwork. I have a huge respect for that. Uh, I respect that actually when they do the both thing, you know. Uh, let me see here. Okay. Let me put this. So let's put the box aside and here I have the guidebook and here is the back. Um, the quality of the card is more, it's not too thick but not too thin, it's matte. I feel like every card I'm showing you guys right now are of matte finish, buttery matte finish. I just love the backs too. There is something very humbling, something warm. I mean, I, I have a hard time to describe it, what it is with the words. But guys, if you own the deck, you will understand what I mean. So, here is the first card. So you can see the number and the meaning. So there are major text and minor. This is my most favorite um, favorite card of the whole deck. Do you see the blues? Do you see the blue? Oh my God, it's so beautiful. It is thoughtful painted. I just love it, okay? I just admire it and I love it. Rhythm of the heart. Uh, Joseph of Arimathea. Salome, ecstatic dance. Emerging from the shadow, re reveal what is hidden. I won't actually read every card. The Shekinah, very beautiful. This too is also a very beautiful image. I love the eyes. Rosa Gallica. Stella Maris, trust. Holding the seed. The lady and the unicorn. Hope and illumination, hold the light. Love light, simple gifts. This too is also a very, very beautiful image. Desert rose, so much feeling in the eyes.
I'm the grey. This is the front image on the box. Magdalene's portal. The loon. Dolmen des Fades. Yeshua. The tree of life. Unconditional love. Magdalene Elder. Do you see the blue healing lights from Magdalene? Very beautiful. The sacred vow. The free ray. Magdalena. The mystic of Magdalene. Angel of Roslyn, Magdalene meditating, Mary with the alabaster jar, Song of Songs, The Fruit of the Wine, Salome's Destiny, The Truth is Revealed. So, this is the deck. Let's shuffle the cards. Uh, this is a typical blue angel size deck. Yeshua, the power within you. Let's read the guidebook, what it says here. The power is within you. Reverence for life and the power of love will activate the divine blueprint within you, making you capable of working wonders. Mary Magdalene was Jeshua's most beloved disciple. He gave her secret teachings of the great mysteries at night. Sometimes they walked arm in arm and danced joyfully together. She would keep vigil for him out in the wilderness to ensure he was not disturbed when he meditated and rose into her realm to commune with high frequency beings. An intrusion would break the energy field, so she held space for him. Um, hmm. Let's see here. Joshua taught Mary with in a spirit. Together they initiated people and performed many wonders as they emanated the divine blueprint of their equal partnership. Yeah. Enter into a part into a partnership of equals soul to soul. Emotional awareness is essential. When you are authentically empowered, you will not be satisfied with less because you know it will stifle your growth. Partners should celebrate their abilities and enhance each other's evolution as spiritual beings. That is true love. Very beautiful message. So guys. Thank you very much. And you can always uh, uh, give a thumbs up or leave a comment on my channel if you want to. Uh, and you can contact me for further questions. So guys, thank you very much and see you again later. Bye.